We said there's a war coming in the north of Israel very, very shortly, any moment. Israel is demanding that Lebanon remove Hezbollah 20 miles from the border and Beirut is refusing. Israel's military issued the new assessment which estimates it has launched attacks on some 3,000 Hezbollah sites in retaliation for Hezbollah attacking Israel. It will attack immediately if further provoked. Israel has said though it's prepared to open another front and military attack, on southern Lebanon, if Hezbollah doesn't move back 20 miles, 32 kilometers from the border, as per the terms of the long-standing United Nations resolution, Israel will act militarily to return the evacuated citizens to their homes if Hezbollah doesn't comply with the demand for a buffer zone. Israel is further demanding the Lebanese government take action, but has been rejected. Lebanese caretaker Foreign Minister Abdullah Abu Habib on February the 6th said the nation's rejection of the recent Israeli and international demands seeking to push Lebanese resistance group Hezbollah north of the Litani River, saying Beirut will not accept partial solutions to resolving a cross-border conflict. Western countries demand the retreat of Hezbollah for about 8 to 10 kilometers. Buhabib said in the interview this is a formula that Lebanon rejects we will not accept partial solutions that do not bring the desired peace and do not secure stability, but will lead to the renewal of war again and again. Peace and stability. Peace and safety. And then the word of God says, sudden destruction shall come upon them. All these things are the Bible coming to life in front of your eyes. There is no doubt that God is a master architect in all things and everything is playing out exactly as he said it would because he has seen all from the beginning to the end. He is the Alpha and the Omega, the Aleph and the Tav, the beginning and the end, the everything. Get right with God. Nothing is more important. Nothing is more real than God and your relationship with him. Pray for Israel. Shalom.